All right, so I'm, uh, I've got XPowder open here, and I'm using a PS2 controller that's emulating a mouse as well as all the buttons that would be inside of The Witcher 2. This is my profile for Witcher 2. And you can see this corresponds to what I, the directions that I'm pushing on the, on the analog stick for any, any of you guys who don't use XPowder. Um, so it's pretty simple, and I can click with the, right, uh, the left mouse button um, which is mapped to a button onto my controller. So if I try to click out here onto The Witcher 2, it just ignores the click. So I'm going to use my mouse and uh, click out here, and it it recognizes that. But now everything is dead on the XPatter controller. So nothing works while The Witcher 2 is in the forefront. So I'm going to use the mouse again and move back out to the uh, XPatter window and just show you that it's still alive, it still works. It's just not when the Witcher 2 is in the forefront. So let's uh, use the mouse again to launch the game. Just give it a second to load up the intro video. So I'll move the cursor around so that you can see it um, whenever it pops up. So it's not moving at all right now. And if I click on the controller, I can't skip the cut, sca cut scenes, so I'm going to hit escape and skip these, and then show you here, the cursor does not respond at all to the controller in the game, and nothing clicks. So I'm going to use the mouse and quit. And XPatter is still working, just not while it's in The Witcher 2. Um, if you have any, any answers for me, I'd really appreciate them. I love using XPatter. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to game because I've got bad carpal tunnels. So um, just post your your uh, suggestions here. Thanks a lot.